Hi, my name is Dan, and in this video I want to talk about uh, cleaning out your project. Uh, so um, this is a, a, a thing to be doing uh, pretty much at the end when you've uh, been working on your project and you're uh, wanting to clean out your unused assets. Um, unfortunately, there is no uh, way of doing this natively within Unreal. Uh, people have been asking for it, um, but I understand it's quite a complex uh, thing to implement. Uh, there are some things that uh, that can help you, and I'm going to show you some of that. There are third-party tools that can do this, apparently. I have not tried uh, any of them, and uh, I understand that they're not necessarily 100% foolproof. And uh, I have to say, I don't think there is any method that I have come across yet that is, well, there's maybe one, that is 100% foolproof. Um, <clears throat> so proceed with caution. Uh, and I do want to say this as a caveat. If you're following uh, the steps that I give you here, uh, I still want to warn you that there's a chance you might break your project. So uh, be very careful about what you do in this area uh, and always keep backups. Um, so... Uh, what I'm going to do, as I say, is I'm going to show you one process that you can go through which will remove uh, unwanted assets from your project. The usual reason why you've got them is because you've added packs of content to your project and you've only used a few of the elements, the, the assets out of the packs, and uh, you just want to get rid of uh, the rest of them. Uh, if you're packaging up your game uh, as an XC, um, then this shouldn't be a problem because they, I believe, get left out. Um, but this is, I, I'm a lecturer and I have students handling in projects, so it's particularly useful for that because I want the whole projects, but because they're uploading them over the internet, I don't want projects that are, you know, 10 plus uh, uh, gigabytes, which uh, does happen. Uh, so uh, we're talking about reducing it down. So the Probably the safest way is the most tedious way of doing this, which is to go through your assets one by one and try and delete it. And if it complains, then um, don't, uh, don't delete it. I don't think that's still absolutely foolproof. <coughs> Excuse me, because I think that only will check uh, against if it's been used in the level um, I'm not sure about other uses. So I think if you're doing dynamic creation of things or dynamic use, um, and I'll talk about that more in a minute, then I think you can you can delete stuff by accident and, uh, and give yourself a problem. Um, probably the, uh, the, the most disciplined way of setting this up uh, would be every time you actually start to use an asset, uh, a new asset is to create a copy of it or to move it out of the pack where it came from into an, a new content area which you then protect. You know that they used assets and you just don't delete that folder and then you delete the asset folder uh, when you when you get there and you want to do it. I'm guessing, and it's certainly true for me, that I'm not necessarily able to be that uh, disciplined about stuff. That probably... Uh, would be the absolute safest way of doing this. Um, so with all those caveats, I'm going to show you um, a way of uh, deleting assets. Again, I want to say uh, the most important thing that gets missed, uh, or you know, you might delete by accident here, are things that are used dynamically. So this is things like um, play sound at location. Uh, so the sound isn't embedded in any blueprint. It's not part of a level. Um, and it just gets pulled out to be used. Um, and I've done a test on on this, and I've done a test on uh, Spawn Actor at location. Um, and in both those situations, uh, this method that I'm going to show you deleted the asset, and then I ended up with a problem. Um, and it's because it's not hard referenced in any of the levels, or um, <clears throat> I don't know if it chains if any of the blueprints for any of the levels. I'm pretty sure it does that chaining on that. That's fine. Right. So let's get into this method. All those caveats want to apply. So be very careful about dynamic use. That I mean, that includes things like uh, using materials on the fly and material instances and stuff. So anything that's 
uh, where you're using an asset in a blueprint is a, a potential problem uh, for you when you try and clean out. So let's do, uh, let's zoom in. <coughs> so what I've got here is I've got um, uh, a folder with some Unreal projects in it. The one that I'm going to clean out is uh, one called Gem Labyrinth Templates. Here we go. And I've, inside this, I've got two major packs that I've used. I've got one that was uh, temporarily free on the Unreal Marketplace, uh, which I then used uh, for creating it. And I've also got the starter content in here. Um, and I'm expecting this process for most of both of those packs to be um, stripped out. The reason why I haven't opened the project yet is because this is the most important stage of this process, which is to make a copy. Uh, so I'm doing Control C and then Control V, and that's uh, it'll just take a few seconds. Um, absolutely, before you do this process, you should make a copy so you've got a fallback that you can go back to. Um, yeah, I'd hate to think that you'd uh, broken everything and couldn't go back. So, five seconds to go, it says. Here we go, lots and lots of little assets here to deal with. Um, nearly there. Yeah, 10 seconds now. Um, no, five seconds. There we go. So, I'm going to use the, the copy. And that is now my backup. I could rename this backup, so I will do. <coughs> and then I'm going to use uh, the copy. So I'm going to uh, just open the project. Let's zoom back out there. So hopefully this will load quite quickly. It's not a big project. Um, and it has been loaded recently, so stuff is in cache. Um, so it's not having to do all of the um, uh, the shaders uh, that it normally does. So this is a project that um, is for use by some of my students for an assignment. Um, and there's this uh, very kind of empty uh, little mansion that I've created. And um, there's a, a little portly thing in here. And the idea is this is, um, this is going to be a, a meta area and the students themselves are going to create mini games. And as you step on the pad, you go into a mini game. So this is a template for the mini game. You've got quit success and uh, super success pads. You step back and you get back here. Okay. Don't really need to know about that. <coughs> um, so I'm going to stop playing. And uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of any level uh, assets that I'm not using um, because uh, the level assets then include references to other assets and so on. Uh, and so you will not be effective in removing everything that you want to remove if you've got unused levels still in your, in your project. So let's zoom in on the content area down here. Um, and our great friend in this process is this little button here, which is the filter. Um, so I'm at the highest level of the content here. Uh, I could do this at um, a lower level. So the, the two packs that I've got are the starter content and the, uh, the, where is it? the Seeker Mansion. So I could do this at this level instead, and that protects the other stuff higher up. Uh, but I'm just going to do it at a content level just to show you the, pro the process. Um, so if you uh, left-click on this button, you get several choices for filters here. Um, and where are we up the top of the ones that I want? Level. So I'm going to choose level, and it just shows me the levels that uh, are in the project. And I know that the two levels that I'm actually using are the GL Meta World, and the rename me uh, world, which is the, the minigame template. So I'm going to highlight the others and click delete. So let's zoom back out for that. So um, I'm just going to press the delete button this time. And it does some thinking. And it works out what we've got. And then I can click delete. Okay. 
Now I'm going to do something a little bit surprising, which is I'm going to close the project and reopen it. Um, and the reason for this is you don't absolutely have to do this, but it does make things a little bit cleaner. Uh, because what I'm doing is I'm cleaning out the undo um, list. So the list of things that's been, that have been done. So if I just carried on at this point, a whole lot of the assets that I want rid of will still be referenced in memory because they'll be referenced by those levels. Uh, and those levels are still kind of existing in memory because they're there in case I click undo. Um, and this is uh, a thing in Unreal that it keeps references to stuff because it's got this undo uh, list that it's got. And if you want to clear that, the, uh, there may be other ways of doing it, but the way that I know of doing it is to close the project and reload. Right, we're going to get rid of the level um, filter. And then we're going to use another filter, which is under other filters. And this is the really useful filter for us here, which is, let's zoom in so you can see that properly, not used in any level. So I'm going to click that filter. And so what's going to appear in uh, the contents uh, panel now is all the assets that are not in use by a level or by an actor that is in a level. Um, I'm going to just click on one to highlight it and then do Control A for select all. So I could do other ways of selecting all of them, like clicking on the first one and then uh, shift clicking on the bottom one. And again, I'm going to delete. So uh, this time, instead of uh, using the delete button, I've right clicked and I'm finding delete in the menu. Um, so there's quite a lot of assets for it to deal with here. So it's going to think a little bit. Um, and uh, try and work out what we can delete and what we can't delete. It's not absolutely deleted everything yet. As you can see, it's still working on this process. Um, and uh, so there are some things that you'll see, it still says there are references in memory, um, but it's just, it's just a few sitting there. Um, I've done this several times in testing. Those are things that um, I know are not particularly uh, are not a project uh, are not a problem. Uh, I don't think, but um, it is worth kind of checking through because then this this may go. Uh, yeah, I need to make sure I don't delete that one. Um, so I'm uh, some of the assets are still deleted. Reference in menu how, memory. How do you want to handle it? And we're gonna. You've got two choices. One is to cancel, which basically won't delete anything or force delete and i'm going to use force delete here again i always want to say be careful about these things um and what it's doing now is it's bringing me up some messages now this confused me a little when i first saw it um i think i know what's going on here which is i think it's is referencing um an audio sort of sound asset and it's saying it's in use so what it's going to do is it's going to refuse to collapse it um and uh, running out of blah, blah, blah. no load startup packages. Um, I'm trying to see. Yes, okay. I know exactly what's going on here. Um, and it, it is what I thought. Um, so what's going on is that this um, asset is referenced by another asset. Um, but that other asset is one that I'm also deleting. So it's not going to give me a problem. Um, in the long run, but it's going to do this several times for several different sound assets as it happens. I'm going to think for a while, and it's bringing me up some more of these. You should pay attention to these, though. I'm, I'm just kind of skipping through quickly because I've been through this process, as I say, several times, and I'm fairly confident that I'm okay to delete these particular ones but actually what's going to happen is that it hasn't deleted those particular ones so we've still got these sound assets here now i know um because i've as i say i've, I've checked this out in this project i know that this is part of the starter content and that these are referenced by sound cue objects and now the sound cue objects have been deleted, I can delete these as well. So I'm just going to press delete again to bring up these sounds. 
and delete. There we go. So that's the phases to go through. I'm going to turn that filter back off. You see, we've still got a whole lot of stuff. Uh, we've still got that mansion in here, but there's actually, well, you didn't see before, there's only a few things now in use, uh, still there because I've, um, these are the ones that I've used. Um, uh, what I was going to say, yes, uh, the last thing you need to do is test. So before you go any further, make sure that what you expect to be working is working. Um, and there's not a lot of functionality in this game. If you've got a lot more functionality, you might want to do quite a good test at this point to check that there's nothing uh, missing or nothing that's uh, crashing or uh, nothing uh, particularly, you know, if it's if there's a sound missing, it just won't play anything. So check that the sound is uh, doing what you expect it to. So once again, all the caveats, be careful. Um, but this is a way of cleaning out, hopefully, uh, all the assets that you are not using in your project. And that's it from me for now.